Hey guys, Killer B here once again, representing HookahPro.com. Uh, not doing a review this time. No, this is a how-to video, and I'm going to show you how to pack a bowl of Hookah Freak slash Hookah Hookah tobacco to optimize your clouds and your flavor, and you're not going to burn it. And if you do burn it, you don't blame me because you did it wrong. Okay? My way or the burnt way or something like that. So let's just get down to it. Okay, so let's get started on this. Um, got my Egyptian bowl here. Uh, some people use their vortex bowls or their funnel bowls, but what they don't seem to remember is that those bowls are actually or were initially designed for uh, use of wetter tobaccos to keep the juice from going down the stem and then an Egyptian bowl works just fine for applications like this and I also have my uh, Hookah Freak Big Apple and a package of needles you're only going to need one but it's kinda hard to keep track of needles so got my pack of needles here and then last but not least aluminum foil shine it side down okay so got the tobacco here and you're just going to want to grab some of it get some of the stuff from the bottom up to the top because that, that's where the juices are going to lie obviously that whole gravity thing and then you just want to sprinkle it into the bowl it's a super fine shredded tobacco and so you just want to sprinkle it in there I got some on my table but we're not gonna let that stop us okay then you're gonna want to get this nice and fluffy in the bowl it allows for lots of airflow and for the heat to go through it pull apart this for those of you who are not so familiar with the hookah freak and hookah hookah tobaccos you will get these little balls of tobacco all balled up in there and it's just not that not that cool um, after you got it packed you want to leave some room around it for the uh, air I'd say I recommend using extra because if that foil gets down there and touches the tobacco your session is gone. You're, it's the point of no return at that point. And then, after you have that all packed down, like I said, you want it to be nice and fluffy in there. Don't pack it with your finger. Don't pack it down. You just want it nice and fluffy, a little bit below that line. Take your foil, shiny side down, and stretch it over the bowl. You want it super tight. And then you grab your needles, pick out just one, and then just go to town poking a bunch of holes in this. then re-stretch it from all those little indents you made. If you found that you missed any spots on there for anything, just go back through and make a couple little holes. There's no real pattern. You just want a lot of holes because since the uh, holes are so much smaller, you have to have a lot more of them in order to ensure the proper amount of airflow. Otherwise, the draw is going to be really tight. So, <clears throat> that's that for the bowl and packing it. Um, I'm not going to actually tape the part with the, putting the coals on it because 
honestly it would be a pain in the ass for me and my setup with my cameras but as you can see there is a ton of little tiny holes and then what I do is I'll get two coconaras or two Kronikuka coals and I, I would assume even though I've never actually done it that you would use two of the uh, one quarter pieces of the exotica finger coals and just lay it on top one on either end of the bowl one here one here and lay them on there and if you aren't getting if you're getting uh, flavor and not clouds and you think that you can risk it throw on a wind cover here's my little makeshift aluminum foil wind cover I'm always talking about and this is what I always do when I smoke my hookah freak or hookah hookah blends they're just it's magical for me I've gotten big clouds and big flavor the whole session and the sessions last me a pretty good amount of time so yeah this is a killer bee showing you how to pack your hookah hookah and hookah freak tobacco I hope you guys enjoyed the little demonstration and until next time do whatever you want and hopefully it's moving once again I forgot a very important part of the video the aftermath the success so here you go got my Razan hose got that hookah freak big apple up on top and here we go as you can see big clouds can't see it but I'll tell you big flavor it's like I just bit into an apple Thank you.